Coming up on today's episode of SHS News, it's Red Ribbon Week and students are helping raise awareness of drug abuse prevention. With Halloween looming next week, scary reporter Tessa Cusimano creeps through the hallways for a preview of the SHS costume party. And the concert band and wind ensembles had a visit from two professional musicians. We have all that and more coming up on this episode of SHS News. Good morning, Summit High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Hilltoppers. Today is Friday, October 25th, and welcome back to SHS News. I'm Vinnie Early. And I'm Tessa Cusimano. Do you like the songs you've been hearing in the halls on Fridays? Well, you can be the Friday DJ because the Student Council is officially taking requests. You can find the link to the request form in the daily announcement doc. On Monday this week, Adine Solis along with singer Raisa Jimenez performed the for the concert band and the Wind Ensemble classes. Solis is a Grammy winning guitarist who is currently performing at Lincoln Center in NYC. The duo first played traditional music from Adine's native country of Costa Rica, then they played one of Mr. Solis' original pieces. After the pair performed for the class, several student musicians had the opportunity to join in. Red Ribbon Week is the nation's largest and longest running drug use prevention campaign. The awareness event started in honor of DEA agent Enrique Camarena, who fought against drug abuse. At Summit, the week serves as a time to promote drug awareness and healthy choices. Well, Red Ribbon Week at Summit High School has really been a um, opportunity for us to acknowledge that people struggle with substance use and it's an opportunity for us to talk and communicate and have honest conversation. Yeah, I love working with the art department. I feel really fortunate at Summit High School. They, I, basically I've asked them to create um, um, ways to, that they can have teens giving messaging to teens. So Red Ribbon Week is like a national movement and every year they have a different theme and here at Summit High School you know sometimes the themes don't really connect for us so what I've asked is the art department is to create a theme or create ideas based on what students feel and to create some sort of piece of artwork that that speaks to them. Yeah we have a wonderful setup here. Thank yeah. you Miss Herbert. Thank you. Thank you, Ailish. Last Friday, the Student Voices Club and the Jewish Heritage Club came together to celebrate the holiday of Sukkot. Sukkot is a harvest festival that is celebrated by building a temporary structure called the Sukkah to spend time in to connect with nature and culture. During Sukkot, we build sukkahs, which are sort of makeshift tents that uh, have specific things that are really important to Jewish heritage and Jewish culture. And basically, the sort of large gist of the holidays, we celebrate gratitude, we celebrate culture, and it takes place after Yom Kippur and Passover. For more information about the Student Voices Club or the Jewish Heritage Club, please contact Senora Bartlett or Mrs. Zarabi. Next week marks the end of October and that means it's time for my favorite holiday, Halloween. The Student Council has special spirit days planned for every day next week and a full Halloween assembly program for the lunch block on Thursday. For a preview of the big event, I toured the halls to see what we can expect from the students. Hi, I'm Tessa Cusimano, and today I went around Summit High School to interview students on their plans for Halloween. What are you being for Halloween? I'm being a cop. Um, I'm being a, a pirate. We have the Hulk. I'm being a vampire. A uh, unicorn. Freddy Krueger. Superheroes. What superhero are you? Spider-Man. Wait, I'm a villain. I'm Harley Quinn. Uh, probably gonna be a prisoner. Um, I'm a lion. Are you gonna dress up for Dress Like Shrek Day? Uh, I, yeah, I, I love Shrek. Are you excited for the Halloween assembly? Yes. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. When you're trick-or-treating and the sign says, please take one, do you actually take one? <laughs> no. <laughs> take like three. Yeah. One hand. Nah, I just grabbed the whole bowl. I just grabbed the bowl too. No, you take all of it. Uh, I only take one. I actually do. No one like... I actually do do that. I'm gonna be honest, nah. I take all of it if I can. More than one. Don't forget about the Halloween Spirit Days next week. And SHS News will have a few camera crews around throughout the week, so be sure to show off your costume for the show. Hey Tessa, how come the skeleton didn't go to the Halloween dance with anyone? 
because he had no body to dance with. Oh, you knew that one already? And on that bombshell, that's this week's news. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tessica Sumano. And I'm Vinny Early. Have an amazing weekend, and we'll see you next week.